Over the last six weeks, you've reviewed and experienced Timmy's life. You've seen him fly, and you've seen him fight. But for us, over the last year, we lived that experience. We didn't just watch it on our phones. So to really give Timmy what he needed, a documentary and something to show for his life, it was great that we were able to build something and a good community like the First Fold. Now, as it's been so much that we've talked about, we need to really fold it up. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close up the story of Timmy and the First Fold. One last time, here's the founders. I want to say thank you guys for coming to be part of the documentary. It's been a pleasure to work with you over this last year and just to be able to write, raise Timmy together. So thank you, man. I'm so glad I got to meet you. And oh, I'm so, glad I, I'm so glad I got to have a great year with you. And voting for you was amazing. I, I wanted you to win, honestly. You didn't, might have not thought it, but I really wanted you to win. And I'm so glad that we got to become friends and best friends even. Amazing friends. Mm -hmm. The greatest of friends. Definitely, definitely. Now I have that now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thank, Thank you for changing my life, man. Thank you for changing Thank you. my life. Mm -hmm. Closure. Something that's needed in all of our lives to truly help us move on from something. That might be a war and working with your best friend to make something great. Well, thank you for coming to be part of the documentary. Uh, it was a great experience getting to relive some of these great memories that we had over the last year. Or maybe it's that principle that you always loved. You know, I talked about middle school and, and, and the idea of what it means to be a middle schooler. Really what it means to be a middle schooler is wearing a traffic cone on your head and that's what I saw, um, that's what I saw you doing um, during one day coming out of Ag Newsroom. And, and my comment to you was, come on, man, don't meet me after work today. The reality was, is I was super upset because I didn't think of it first. So again, Keaton, you beat me to the punch. So understand, when I see Timmy, I think of middle school, and that's what that is. Sometimes the best way to soar is to help share the experiences with people who made them visible to the world. Timmy is so influential that even though some people love him more than their unborn child, they will still tell their child about Timmy. His legacy will go on for generations to come. Hating Timmy without knowing anything about him is like falling off that cliff there. It hurts in the end. It's true, Timmy was so influential. But not everything is about Timmy. There's been so much more to this year. Frog rap, McDonald's and Miss Lohmeyer's. There's so much to look back at and enjoy. Orchestra, there was a chair and someone had carved the two words, I suck into it, where many people have sat. And it was a very meaningful chair because of that. One day, one Valentine's Day, our science teacher, Miss Lohmeyer, gave us all a care package to celebrate Valentine's Day. One of these was a sticky hand so in orchestra, Keaton threw a sticky hand up onto the ceiling and the skylight. In orchestra class, which was our next class, see Keaton thought it would be a good idea. He stuck the hand to the ceiling. So we did that. That was on Valentine's. Stuck there for many months. And the hand is still stuck underneath the skylight ever since Valentine's Day. We've all been super impressed hand, by it. It's going to leave a print on our school, school forever. A hand, hand print. Yes, it's true. In fact, the sticky hand is still there to this very day. But as we close up, I think we should go back to Lincoln, to the place and the people who really made this documentary happen. What is it, Barney? You could say that Timmy is just a piece of crumpled up paper with some pipe cleaners on tape, but that's not the case. Timmy was an icon. He was a friend. He was someone everyone could look up to. Through this war, there have been so many unanswered questions. For example, what is a Barney? Barney is Timmy. But a Barney is also all of us. 
together we made Timmy what he is today. And I just want to say thank you to all the many people who helped make Timmy what he has become. Personally, to me, Timmy has done a lot. Three years ago, I lost all my friends. When COVID came along, we all got sent home. I didn't talk to anyone for two years. And when I came back, I felt like my middle school experience that I had seen on TV, like in the, middle, in the movie middle school, uh, I felt like it was gone and taken from me. But on that second day of school, in Miss Heather Lomire's class, when I took my crumpled up paper and put my backpack, brought with me to English, and showed everyone what a Timmy really was, I knew that it would be good again. Um, I don't have it with me right now, but uh, I have this piece of paper sitting in my room, and on it, it says Team Timmy. There is a list of about 140 people who when I walked up to the halls and said, join Team Timmy, they said, sure, why not? What's that? We'll do it, whatever, don't care. And now we have Timmy. And we have Team Anti-Timmy, the other half of our school. But through it, we have each other. And with Timmy, we were able to lead a middle school experience that we wanted, not just what we got thrown into because of COVID. I want to thank you all so much. The eighth grade year to me was not just the year that I got to come back and be with my friends. It was also the year that I finally had to have my middle school experience and get the entire class together to join in one icon and one thing. So I say, let the Timmy and all of us fly. Let the wars need to happen that need to happen happen. And let's all be together and remember Timmy. Thank you. And for one last time, thanks for following me in the first fold. Oh shit, one last thing, one last thing. Okay. Through the last six weeks, I've had three other people who really helped build this stuff. Jasper Primo, our cameraman. Thank you, Jasper. Swanick Bose, our assistant to the producer. And Julie, our editor, even though she clearly couldn't get a lot of the names right. Thank you guys. It means a lot. The last six weeks have been one of the best ways for me to share my love for Timmy with everyone in our school. Um, to everyone else here at the Battle of Timmy Producing, we just want to say, none of us are strangers to Timmy, okay? We all know the rules. It's Team Timmy versus Team Anti-Timmy. Um, and honestly, you, I don't think you get this from any other paper dinosaur. So we just want to tell you how we're feeling and we need to make you understand.
go home. What do you want, some big cliffhanger season two coming next summer? It took us a year to do this. Why would we do another season? No, go away. We don't want, this is, this is the end.